Now we're starting to see the fall of Brazil becoming more and more apparent with two encirclements and a gradual push to Brasilia. Um, so now, um, the blue team is obviously in a bit of a scare here, as Venezuela continues to push down into, um, Colombia. So then they, so they decide to call on Portugal to do something big about this, which is one of their allies and stuff. So anyways, Portugal decides it would be a good idea to get Spain to contact France to send Spain a nuke and to send Portugal a nuke. And they're able to do that after a lot of bickering. This does come at a cost, though, 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 wow, this bickering, as Venezuela is able to continue their march over into, um, Colombia, which, uh, which, um, makes Colombia withdraw some troops, um, from their Peru, um, front line, um, allowing Peru to push up and reconnect with their soldiers even more. So, eventually, Portugal is able to get these nukes, and now they have to, and now they're going to use them. They don't know exactly where to station them, but they decide to put them in French Guiana, as they don't want any, um, as they, as they believe that Mexico might be able to acquire them during the war if they put them in Brazil. So, they drop one over Mexico City. It's extremely devastating. It's a lot more powerful than Mexico's nuke, and they also decide to drop one over, um, they also decide to drop another one over um, um, the Mexican um, occupied territories of the of the Guyana region. They actually drop two over here, and they drop another one around here just for the heck of it. Um, actually, actually, no, they don't drop it here. No, they don't drop it there. Um, they actually drop one over the Panama Canal to like destroy a lot of their trade and stuff. But yeah, I'd say that's a good place to put the nukes. This is absolutely devastating for Mexico, um, but Mex the Mexican army is able to take back the Radiate City, but they're extremely weakened. They also um, take back the Radiate City in the Guyana region and the one in Panama. So now Mexico is able to rebuild after a while, and they're pretty annoyed. Um, kind of hypocritical, but whatever. Um, there's a small, um, partisan rebellion over on the Guyana border, but Mexico is able to stabilize it. And now with Mexico, um, being pretty annoyed and ready, they push down in, into Brazil even further. Um, they also take, they also start squeezing out Brazilian forces more and more along the coastline. Eventually, Brasilia, um, is basically captured, but it gets a small liberation. So now Mexico has to somewhat recapture it. They send in a slight offensive, and they try encircling the city. Although Brazil is able to send in a massive bulge in through, um, hoping to liberate it, and maybe even cut the Mexican front line into two. Um, Brazil keeps pushing up and up and up until they get to the coast, um, separating the line. Um, with this, Brazil squeezes out um, the Mexican forces. Until Mexico um, and the rest of the LPPA decide to gather and push down to try to to try to liberate their comrades, which they're able to do. After this, we see an encirclement of Brasilia and we see a quick collapse of Brasilia. Um, well, I just said that way too much. Eventually, it's completely encircled and squeezed in on. After some more pushing down into Brazil and Argentina, um, considering peace with Mexico, we're probably going to see the surrender very quickly. Brazil is still um holding out though. Um Peru um makes another push into Ecuador, um, which eventually leads to the surrender of the country. I know it's still blue, but whatever. Um with the blue with um Ecuador surrendering, Colombia quickly sends down its forces um to capture the rest of Ecuador. Um, but it's an extremely weak force, and this once again comes at a cost. This allows um, Peru to to also push into Colombia from the Ecuadorian part, and um, push Colombia further, um, even more, even out their borders even more. Um, Colombia is extremely considering the opportunity of surrender here, but they decide to hold out um, for their South American comrades. Eventually, though, um, there's rebellions in Colombia because it's just getting too bad at this point, and it's only for Venice, and they're basically waiting for Venezuela to finally just take them out. Mexico also launches an invasion into Colombia, which they actually never thought of doing at this point, but whatever, they can do it now. Um, they launch an invasion into Colombia, and they take part of their coast and continue the push down. Now, we see South America still somehow holding out, but it's probably not going to last too much longer.
and I just want to kind of end this video. Um, so we don't see um that happening. No. Um, we see Venezuela um give one last big push in using every force that they have, um, to hopefully take the rest of Colombia. They get to around here, um, and then we see Colombia surrendering. So now with this, we have the just yeah, pretend that's red. With this, we see the present the surrender of Brazil after even more land is taken, and after being separated into two. Um. Or so now we're gonna have to redraw this whole thing, so we can uh, make a border. So we so um this is gonna be a lot more simple than most of my videos, but it's still gonna be really weird. So I'm not gonna focus on these borders because you already know what they look like. So yeah. So what what are the changes we see here? We see um Mexico still um getting its its um region its um land from Venezuela and stuff like that. Um, although Venezuela decided to just annex all of Colombia. So now we're having a pretty cursed border. If I'm being honest, it's a bit too thick, but there we go. So, and now we have um, Mexico going to annex parts of Brazil. We also see Peru annexing all of, um, we also see Peru annexing all of Ecuador, and we're going to see them annex some parts of Brazil. So, uh, with this, we have Peru um, getting a massive horn right here, shape, I could say. Um, with the um, annexation of, um, with, um, the annexing parts of Brazil, Mexico decides that because it's the biggest, it's because it's the strongest South American country, they decide to annex it, um, down into the Amazon, um, rainforest and even taking their capital and also lots of the coast. Although they do let them exist right here, um, just to kind of screw with them. They also take this island. So now we have Brazil being pretty screwed, and Argentina actually ends up joining the LPPA. Portugal has to pay reparations, and, um, and Spain didn't know that Portugal was going to use the nukes um, for, um, you know, nuking. They thought they were just going to use them for defense. Um, so Spain actually goes to war with um, Portugal a, a while later, and Annex is part of it. All those does lead to Cal Catalonia getting independence. I don't know why I had to add that. I just felt like it. I just felt like why might, might as well do something with Portugal. And with Argentina, we just see them having to pay them all the reparations. And that's the end of the video. I'm done. Myanmar's still in the ocean, by the way. I can all that.